Hello and welcome to this edition of Ag Resource Video Content. I'm Ben Buckner. I'm joined by our Chief Livestock Analyst, Nathan Losey. Nathan Losey, it's been a mostly positive price trend in livestock and meat markets for the last several months. Are the, the markets fairly valued and what will be the sort of overarching themes over the next three to six months in those markets? Well, in the meat markets here, uh, we've had a number of uh, different factors in play over the last year. Uh, number one has been the increase in uh, per capita disposable income here in the U.S. That's been the primary driver of beef and pork prices as we've seen you know, huge government payments. We've seen record disposable income. Um, the other, so, you know, as we go forward, I don't expect that the government's going to continue to push out these payments. We've started to see, the, see those slow. Uh, I think that's going to be a negative factor on U.S. Uh, beef and pork demand. Uh, the other factor that has had mixed results in these two markets has been Chinese demand. Uh, Chinese export demand has been a big driver of pork prices over the last two years. But as the Chinese have built out their herds, we, we're seeing ex exports and sales uh, slow dramatically this year. I think by the middle of 2022, we'll see hardly any pork exports to China. Um, you know, they've, their, their hog herds are back to where they were pre-ASF. And Chinese pork prices have just collapsed in the last six months. In beef, it's a different story. Uh, we've never really seen the Chinese active in the U.S. beef market. Um, this year, they are the fourth largest buyer of U.S. beef. Um, we have record beef exports, record, record beef sales, and China accounts for uh, the majority of that increase. So <clears throat> when, the, when the Chinese beef demand slows, that's hard to tell. Nobody saw it coming when it, when it started. Um, but I think it's definitely a factor to watch and, and the market needs to be aware of it. Uh, the biggest concern right now for the, the, the beef market is we still have, you know, historically high carcass weights. Our feedlots are still not caught up from the, the COVID backlog from 2020. Um, but when we start to see weights decline, uh, you know, we could see a pretty strong rally in cattle prices. Uh, for right now, all, a lot of that's priced into to Chicago. Um, we have December cattle pushing around 130. Um, you know, our view here is if we can get December over 135 and February over 140, uh, you know, we're ready to, you know, tell our feedlot customers to go ahead and start hedging uh, cattle for late 2021 and early 22. That all makes good sense. Exports are critical to growth for every market, I think. And, and one last question, I think, you know, the, the elephant in the room, again, sort of is rearing its head, and that's COVID and the rise in cases. I don't think there'll be any tolerance for lockdowns, but just generally, what happened to meat consumption during calendar year 2020? So we have kind of a template. Well, uh, what, what we saw was uh, people were not going out and spending money at the ball games and movie theaters and, and other events, and so they upgraded their menu. And the government helped them upgrade the menu by, uh, you know, giving out unemployment bonuses and, you know, other direct payments. And so, we, yeah, we saw a tremendous increase in uh, meat consumption, red meat consumption, uh, through at-home dining. Um, but again, I think as people go, get back to their normal lives and start spending money elsewhere, uh, there, there's going to be some consumer resistance to uh, these historic prices we've seen in the last year. And, uh, you know, also, again, as, as um, you know, government payments start to recede, you know, that's going to take a bite out of it, too. So we could see uh, domestic demand start to decline uh, probably in early 2022, if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. So dynamic markets ahead. Some of this depends on China. Some of it depends on disposable income. So stay tuned for our other uh, additional video content in the days and weeks ahead. And then stay tuned with, uh, with our cattle and livestock and beef outlooks moving forward.